Hello everyone, my name is E-Dogs and welcome to this channel. Today we're going to be doing a show and tell piece on the Beast Wars Second Destron's D13 Smokescreen and BB. This piece is, was made by Takara in 1993. This is how they used to package the islands back then. This is uh, Smokescreen on the left, BB is on the right. We have Smokescreen on the bottom, BB on the top. On the other side, we have them both in their uh, oak modes on the side of the packaging. On the back of the box, we have uh, a really good panel on the back. On the Predacon side, we have Megastorm and Dirge. And then we on this side, we have the Maximal Baboon. And these three guys, I'm not exactly sure who, what their names is. I can't remember. Um, also, we have the point system. Now, if you're not, uh, if you don't know about the point system, is that we used to have these special things. And what you do is you cut out the points, or you may have to cut out the UPS, uh, UPS or UPC, I should say, the UPC on the box. And you send it back to the company, and they will send you back uh, a kite or a shirt or a pen whatever have you and in this series there is about maybe a total of 25 maybe 26 uh, figures in this line so I'm not exactly sure what you get um, but it's going to be unique in itself now we have the other side we have BB over his side and the smoke screen on our bottom BB is a triple changer um, which we'll get into a second. Beast Wars second. BB is a Northrip Grunman B2 Spirit Bomber. And we have both of these two guys in the corner. And we have the bottom. We have Versus Packaging. Uh, which are two packs of, of figures that you can buy if you wanted to. Uh, you have that and you have that. You have this on the corner. Uh, I also like to present my booklet, product placement booklet, for a second. And this is the booklet that you get. And this has everything that the line pertains. So that is the main story of the series. If you want to read it, pause it. If you can read Japanese. Um, over here, we have the combiners. Now, the one on the left and the right were available at Toys R Us, but when they were, it was so late in the game that nobody knew where, uh, what these characters were. They didn't know where they came from. The only character that is popular amongst all of them is King Poseidon, which are the, the white version of the Seacons. You have him in the combined word mode right there and then you have them in the separate modes on the bottom and then we're going to turn around the other side to show you some more stuff now in my opinion the moss rat i think this is a moss rat could be something else this is rat trap to me the buffalo is rhinox on the other side we have the G2 Megatron, uh, which is an N1 Abram, uh, Abrams tank, but he is referred to as Megastorm in the series. We have Dirge, which is the blue jet, and we have Sunstorm, which is the yellow jet. On the bottom, we have Galvatron, which is a triple changer. He's a dragon and a mole machine, uh, which is a little far-fetched, but... We have Leo, Leo over here, Leo Convoy on um, the other side of the box. We have some more vehicles, some more insects. And the most hardest figure to get is this guy right here. He is a squid, but when you separate him, he, he forms two different types of vehicles. You, you either have a, a motorcycle type of thing or you have a, a hovercraft. And then when you combine them, it turns into a battle station. We also have a play set, which is a vehicle 
that folds open like a, a briefcase, um, which used to be the thing back then. You have a play set. Um, we have D22, which is their version of Triptychon. Uh, I'm not sure how rare this piece is now. Uh, I've never seen it on eBay or anywhere else. Um, this is Hellstorm. We'll get back to them real quick. And down here we have an early version of Dinobite. So, now this series, to summarize this, the, the series, is that the Maximals and the Perticons, they fall on this planet called Gaia, which is the Japanese name for Earth. The Maximals land, uh, crash land in the jungle, so they have to assume the forms of the animals that are in that area, or indigenous to that area, I should say. The Predacons, which are the descendants of the Decepticon, kind of, sort of, there's some Predacons that are not related to the Decepticons for some reason. But anyway, they crash land to former civilization where they encounter a giant monolith, and inside of this monolith was a supercomputer. The Predacons are led by Galvatron, and he goes and hacks the computer and he tells the computer, I want all the most powerful uh, vehicles that you can find. So each of the Predacons, they select their own vehicles and uh, BB uh, Smokescreen, excuse me, selects a futuristic jet and BB selects a B2 Spirit Bomber. And um, there you have it. And that's how the war starts on the planet. Now, the cool thing about this is it has a lot of connections to the other series. I have not watched uh, Beast Wars Neo because I can't get a hold of it. But there are a lot of <clears throat> connections between Transformers Prime, Beast Wars, and even Super God Master Force. Um, in Super God Master Force... There are two character, characters called Hydra and Buster. And they can combine together to form something called Wing Cross. Wing Cross are two different types of jets. And they can combine into one larger vehicle with more firepower and more speed. In this case, Smokescreen and Bumblebee can also do that same combination to form a larger jet, if you will. And it unleashes more firepower. Now, the other connection is Transformers Prime, which aired in November of 2010, where Smokescreen in the Beast Wars second series in the English subtitle, they changed his name to Starscream. So Starscream gets teamed up with a character called Skyquake. Skyquake was a legendary Decepticon who was entombed in stasis on Earth for, in, for centuries. And what happened in Transformers Prime is that his smaller brother, uh, Scott Dreadwing, uh, comes from Cybertron, reformats himself into a vehicle, uh, an aircraft to get revenge on Starscream. Similar to... Um, Starscream and Jetfire in the G1 days. Jetfire crashed in Antarctica and he was entombed in ice where the Autobots came around and dug him out. Beast Wars second series started airing in April 1998, which means that the figures were on the shelves five years before the series ever started. And the series ended in January 1998. There are 43 episodes in total. The show is now available on DVD. You can probably find it out there on, on a website somewhere. And it's only available in its native language and English subtitles. And it's directed by Asumo Sakati or Sakata. It's written by Juki Takagami. Music is done by Yozo Hayashi, Hideo Takakashi, or Takashi, forgive me. And um, 
And this is a really cool piece. Now, I just want to add one more thing. Starscream, in this series, he gets an upgrade. And he turns himself into a character called Hellscream. Hellscream was a great white shark. And when they needed a toy, they did a retooling of a character called Cyber Shark. Now, Cyber Shark is almost lending to believe that later on it will become Shark Bite, which is from another series called Transformers Cars and Robots. But if you want to go by the US version, it's Transformers Robots in Disguise. So you can't keep Starscream down even in Beast Wars. Because the Beast Wars backstory is that they experimented on Starscream Spark and it was indestructible. So who knows? All of these characters could be Starscream or a part of Starscream's um, uh, identity, if you will. And uh, I thought that was also cool. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you have anything uh, you want me to do, put it in the comments. Um, and I hope that you have a great day. See you until next time. Well, I will be doing another piece. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be something in the box, of course. And, and I'll see you until next time. Thank you.